Uh, well, the guys from Absolute decided to uh, do an exhibition here in Dublin. It's all about the bottle and the Absolute brand, uh, but it's kind of more than that because Absolute has become one of those iconic images that Warhol, Boyce, Gold and different people like that have consumed and reinterpreted and it's, it's become more than just some of its parts. It's become a, almost like a calling card for artists that to be asked to do it is a huge honour. I've been playing around with the bottle for the last few days. It hasn't changed as far as I know in a long time and uh, it's just a beautiful thing and it's probably why so many artists have I have chosen to do absolute bottles. It's not your traditional shape, it's very easy to, to adapt. Um, my approach is using triangles that I've been exploring for the last few months and this has kind of been inspired by a mix of deconstructionist architecture, it's a futurism, um, cubism, um, all of that kind of disjoints portraits and the images that I work with. The triangle is kind of a cool shape out there. They provide such a sharp and interesting dynamic. They can create their own space, they create their own texture, they create their own uh, form. So when we start doing these prints, uh, the screen printer is going to be doing every single print different. He's going to be changing the registration, altering the colours, realigning them. So everyone who gets one of these prints will have an original. And then I'm going to do a little bit of customization on each print, so I'll be spraying some of the collage and bits into them. So every single one of them will have its own unique characteristic. In the run of the build job, I'm always doing the same colour and the same material the same way all the time, however many off it happens to be. And to be in a situation where you can make each print completely different as you print it, to have that freedom of expression, I suppose. It's, uh, it's quite exhilarating, very exciting for me. I just want to get up and come to work in the morning, really, do stuff like this every day. Brilliant. It's like losing 20 years of my life. And now at this moment, you know, you put the black on. It's the last colour. What you get now is what you get. But it's still a surprise, because you can't envisage what that's going to look like until you actually print that black on it and you're looking at something completely different every time you lift the screen. It's great. I mean, yeah, have that happen to you 200 times in the same afternoon. It's, a, you know, it's an emotional level you don't normally beat. It really is. Fantastic. So the whole process is finished um, and just really unbelievably happy about how it's gone. Two days, eight cans of paint, uh, lots of pencils, 200 screen prints and uh, Phil pulled 800 runs on the print and we have 200 individual amazing prints that I couldn't be prouder of.